Welcome to beginning Pilates series, sideline. To get to our sideline position, we're gonna lay out on our side. Yes, I'm wearing my sweats and shoes today. I'm chilly today. You're welcome to do it without sweats and without your shoes on. You don't need shoes for Pilates. Lay your head all the way down on your bicep, tucking that shoulder under you. So you want shoulder over shoulder, head all the way down so that my head is in line with the rest of me. Hip also needs to be over a hip. So as you lay your legs over each other, notice if one knee has gotten longer or shorter than the other. Correct it from the hip, foot over foot, ankle over ankle. I'm gonna straighten my legs out and they're slightly in front of me so that I can lengthen the base of my spine. So I'm lengthening the small and tucking the tailbone under me slightly because that's where the magic comes in and we can feel the front body zipping up and in. As a reminder, if you have not done the four-part series of alignment, breathing, and core engagement, please do that before practicing your Pilates. You can find that link at carryfit.com on the right-hand column. Hip over hip, shoulder over shoulder, and lift your side body. So as you can see with me, my side body is not pushing down into the mat. It's lifting so that my ribs and my hips are in line with each other and I'm lying down as I would if I were standing up. That way my body is ready to exercise and my core muscles stay engaged. So I want you to lift that top leg and your foot's gonna go even with your hip joint and parallel to the floor. And you're just gonna take your toe in front of you and then you're gonna take your heel behind you. So what we're doing here is we're warming up this hip and at the same time we're reminding ourselves that our hips need to stay square and balanced over each other. In other words, I'm not rocking back and forth. All of this is staying steady and firm, and I'm just moving around from that hip joint. Now, this can be challenging, and sometimes the foot doesn't wanna go all the way down. That's okay, it's a practice, so allow yourself to go to that boundary and then start again. Just nice and easy tapping to the front and bringing it to the back. Stabilizing your body. Hand can be here for support to make sure that you're not rocking side to side. Take a moment and rest that out. Now we're gonna bring our knee to the front and the back. So go to the same position where your leg is gonna be even with your hip bone. Then bring your knee in front of you, exhale, and then inhale to push your foot behind you. Exhale to bring your knee to the front, Inhale to bring your foot behind you. The hard part, again, is that your leg is moving around and your body wants to compensate for that. So your body's gonna to want to roll backward and then it's gonna to wanna to roll forward. Your shoulders are gonna to wanna to do funny things. What you wanna do is stabilize using your core muscles and focus on keeping everything pulled up and in so that you're controlling what your body is doing and then set that down for a moment. Now, keeping that foot in the same place, lift it up, point your toe, and draw some little circles. Your circles are what you can control, just right there and not allowing your body to move around, just from the hip, now draw them the other way. Find a breath that works for you. Your toe should be going around in a circle to challenge your balance and set that all the way down. Okay, let's flip over to the other side. Set your head down, tuck your shoulder under you. Hand can be in front of you, legs in front of you, tuck your tailbone, spine nice and long, shoulder over shoulder, hip over hip, and lifting that side body like you just put a girdle on. Now go back to the beginning of this video and start on this side. You've got your toe taps, then your knees, and then your circles. And that's your beginning sideline series. For more information and help, head over to carryfit.com.